let's judge these banned cards and see if they're worthy of being pulled off the list or not. Hello everyone and welcome back to another uh, episode of Can This Card Be Unbound? So, like usual, let's take a look at the comments from last time. Uh, Tenebrae17 talked about a few of them, plus uh, a comment that I made uh, in the last video. Uh, so let's go over that. Uh, as far as Graceful Charity is concerned, I just what was like the first deck that came to mind, which happened to be Hero, because I've been running that lately. And yeah, it's an uh, extender for basically everything. But like I said, it was the first deck that came to mind. So it can be useful for practically every kind of deck uh, known to the game in general. That's why I mentioned, uh, I believe it was, to downgrade it uh, to where graveyard effects could not be activated. I want to say that's what I mentioned but yeah, its original form would be a big fat no. Uh, glow up bulb. The main reason why I mentioned that is that it has a big advantage over uh, dandelion, which was that it's a tuner monster and such. You could play uh, uh, synchro monsters off of that. But uh, you did mention Christron. Halqui Fibrex, uh, which is something I mentioned. I noticed uh, <laughs> something interesting. So yeah, um, but as far as that card is concerned, I can still say it would could still be a problem with it being a tuner monster. But yeah, it's it. it this is very it, it, nice to like. Discuss stuff like this. Um, link to play by itself. Without, yeah. Now I did look at the card mentioned. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's there. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, and then giant Trunade. Uh, bad because at the time it was yeah. Um. What I had found, looked up, was that it was used to redo, I mean, allow for replay of first, uh, for one time, uh, once per turn cards. So, yeah. And as far as the last thing is concerned, um, the main reason why I mentioned, like, even at the digital level, is that before the information gets out, they could have some sort of like playtesting to kind of reword it so that it doesn't become a problem right off the bat. And even if they believe it's not a problem, they can also get feedback from the player base uh, in the, at the digital level so that if the player base, even like high-ranking duelists, finds a problem with something, they could do it, they can deal with it, like, right before they print the cards out and finalize the effects. They can go, okay, well, it's going to be this now, a disclaimer, something like that. But that's just an idea. I don't know <laughs> if this would even get uh, outside of, like, <laughs> this little realm of I, I don't really know what I'm going to call it, but whatever. So, yeah. It, it's just an idea I, I'm throwing out in terms of seeing how they could better improve certain things. But anyways, with that out of the way, uh, let's jump into today's cards. And the first one for today, funny enough... Christron Halki Fibrax. I had just noticed that I didn't even touch upon this one, 
um, until I read the comment like a few minutes ago or something like that. But anyways, Christian Halki Fibrax is a Link 2 uh, machine Link Monster. And its effect is uh, it can it it uh, requires two monsters, including a tuner. If this card is link summoned, you can special summon one level three or lower tuner monster from your hand or deck in defense position, but it cannot activate its effects this turn. During your opponent's main phase or battle phase, quick effect. You can banish this card. Your opponent, you, you can banish this card you control. Special summon one tuner synchro monster from your extra deck. This is treated as a synchro summon. You can use only use each effect of Crystron Happy Five Racks uh, once per turn. So this was one of them that was mentioned by uh, Tenebrae uh, Seventeen. And uh, I can definitely see why they banned um, five wrecks. Uh, <laughs> uh, not only could you uh, extend from the link summon with a tuner monster, which can then go into a, another special summon, but banishing the card just brings out a tuner synchro monster right off the bat, which there are a decent amount of tuner synchro monsters. I forgot how many, but there are a decent amount. So, yes. And if this card was still live when they brought out Jack's deck, I want to say one of the Archfiend card... Um, I want to say one of the Archfiend cards was a tuner synchro. Yeah. Yeah, it would be even more of a problem. So that's why they banned it. Um, now, as far as Fibrix, oh boy, uh, they would have to downgrade like everything in the card itself just to see some resent some semblance of it uh, coming back. So I highly doubt it'll ever come back. It's just too good. There has to be some... There would have to be some... Uh, like, future-proofing for a downgraded one. But to be able to just grab a Synchro Monster, even if it was just a Tuner one, is quite something. So, yeah. Also, I think it has to be in the graveyard to be able to be banished, unless you can just banish straight from the uh, play from the uh, play zone from the uh, monsters, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this one uh, definitely just keep on the ban list. Uh, so yeah. Now, uh, next card for today is Grinder Golem. Grinder Golem is a level 8 Dark Fiend monster, and its effect is cannot be normal summoned or set. Must first be special summoned from your hand to your opponent's side of the field by special summoning two grinder tokens, fiend type dark, level one, zero attack, and defense, in face up attack position on your side of the field. If you special summon this monster, you cannot normal or set a monster during the same turn. And what Grinder Golem could do is that it could just continuously special summon grinder tokens, which can be used for. Uh, Link summons. Now, the card itself was not made during the Link era, and this was found out rather easily with the era of Link summons, and uh, yeah, that's why it was banned. Um, now, as far as bringing the card back, it would have to have a it would have to have a significant nerf to it. Uh, the major nerf is that it could only be special summoned 
once per turn. Now, the reason why is because each time you would special summon, you would get those two grinder tokens. However, if you limit it to just once per turn, you would have to, you would then limit the amount of times that those tokens can be brought to the field, which then uh, ca uh, slows down like major turns. So, yes. Now, as far as its original form, there are a fair number of cards that are being played right now that can deal with Grinder Golem. However, if the opponent doesn't have those cards on the field or in their hand, yes, this can still be a huge problem. And uh, unless there is a... Unless it, unless the play field right now favors return of Grinder Golem, I'm going to say no. But with a nerf saying you can only special summon the card once per turn, hard part once per turn, yeah, I can see that being at a one per deck. So, yes. Now, let's move on to... Card number three, and for today, card number three is Gar Dragon Agarpain. And what is Gar Dragon Agarpain? Well, it is a Link to Dragon Link monster uh, with the effect of it requiring two Dragon monsters. Oh, and it's also a dark monster, too. Forgot the, about mentioning that. But anyways, you cannot special summon monsters, except dragon monsters, during your main phase. You can special summon one dragon monster from your extra deck to an extra deck zone or main monster zone you summon to that two or more link monsters point to. You can only use the effect of Gar Dragon Agarpain once per turn. You can only special summon Gar Dragon Gar Dragon Agarpain once per turn, which probably means uh, they had this in mind for more than one copy for a deck originally. Which the wording in the card means that they really didn't see any problem with it. However, dragon type, dragon attribute monsters are, or dragon type? I think so. Um, dragon monsters actually are one of the higher uh, amount, uh, higher groups in Yu Gi Oh! I mean, it's also one of the oldest ones, too. So, I'm surprised they put that in there. Now, as far as Gar Dragon Agarpain, now, unless... You know, apart from, uh, now, considering the card itself, or concerning the card itself, unless dragons have fallen out of favor across the board, maybe... But considering the fact that there are still dragon decks, how they just brought out Jack's structure deck, which has dragons in it, um, I would definitely say no. No, it did mention specifically mention um, it has to be next to a spot pointing from a link monster pointing to it, but this doesn't really make much of a difference. You can still special summon one of them right underneath Guard Dragon Agarpain. So you, you can still extend off of that. Um special summon has whatever. But I mean still you can still special summon off of it. As long as something's pointed to it. So yeah. Um, now as far as. 
what combination we use for it. Uh, whatever I looked up, it just listed what I just said. You could extend, I believe it was. And so, yeah. Now, in terms of how to solve this, uh, yeah, I don't know if there really is something you can use or do to Gar Dragon Outer Pain that would solve this card. Yeah, so uh, this would just be a big fat no. Cannot be brought back to the game whatsoever. Um, until dragons become like one of the least used decks. And even then, you would have to hard once per duel the effect, honestly. But regardless, uh, no. <laughs> uh, and for the last card for today, we have Guard Dragon LP. So, Guard Dragon. LP is a Link 1 Dragon Dark Monster with the effect of one level 4 or lower Dragon Monster. You cannot special summon monsters except Dragon Monsters. Uh, during your main phase, you can special summon one Dragon Monster from your hand or deck to your zone that two or more Link Monsters point to. You can only use this effect of Guard Dragon LP once per turn. You can only special summon one Guard Dragon LP once per turn. Now this uh, card's effect is not much, not too different from the last one, which was Agar Pain. And once again, they probably initially wanted it to be at least two per deck because they included the S at the end of LP. Now, um, in terms of why it was banned, you can tell because of the effect. Once again, it could just bring out a card uh, for free at the cost of it being two zones that a, uh, a zone that two League Monsters at least two monsters have pointed to. So, it's not that difficult if you have the right kind of deck. Once again, it relies on dragons, a type that is one of the biggest amounts, uh, on top of it being dark, which is one of the two highest attributes. Um, now... In terms of solving this and or if it can just be brought back, uh, no. Once again, unless there's like a almost non-existent wanting of a dragon deck with a fair number of link monsters in it, uh, no. Cannot be come it cannot be brought back in its original form, and it would have to have a hard once per dual effect um, for it to see normal play even outside of like just a single copy. So unless there's another way to bring it back, like I said, it would have to be a hard once per turn uh, duel for any thought about it being brought back for uh, this one or for aggro pain. So I really am yeah, not sure about this and the other card so any thoughts any ideas on how these two cards can be brought back if at all uh go ahead and discuss that in the comments below and that is going to do it for me today uh next time we will discuss uh starting heavy metal foes uh electromite so yes uh, until next time, everyone, goodbye, uh, enjoy, and enjoy the rest of your day.